Guys, it's Tuesday the 24th of January and I can't focus today. It's not even 10 a.m., it's 9.57. And basically I found out yesterday that there were three offers put on the house, including mine. He said he was putting them to the vendor last night and then the vendor would choose. Oh, I'm being called. What are the chances? Do you think that could be? Hmm. Hello? Uh, yes, it is. As you can see, my nerves are on edge. That was a dentist. That was not the estate agent. Anyway, he put the offers forward last night. So I'm guessing I could hear today, unless, you know, unless the owner wants to think about it a lot more in depth. But what I was surprised about is that the, the estate agent didn't like come back to me and give me a clue about the other offers. Like what I'm worried about is, you know, I put in an offer. What if those two people have offered more than me? He's not even given me an opportunity to say, actually, I can up my offer. I actually don't want to up my offer. <laughs> so um, that's maybe a moot point. But he hasn't, I thought the way things go, because when Lucy and I were looking at buying houses and whenever I've rented, like we've put offers in to rent a property, like £1,800 a month. And they've gone, oh, someone's just offered 1900 Do you want to offer more than 1900 Like they give you the chance. So he didn't even give me the chance. He just said, we've had three offers, including yours, and I'm putting them forward to the vendor. But I wanted to be like, what are they? What are the offers? <laughs> Unless that means mine is the highest. But yeah, I don't know. But I know there are loads of other things to take into account. Someone might be a cash buyer. Like there might be someone that's offered less than me, but they're buying cash and not relying on a mortgage, which means they can probably process the, the transaction quicker. You know, there might be someone that wants to buy it as a family home and I'm buying it as an investor and maybe the, the seller doesn't want an investor to buy it, maybe they want a family. There's all sorts of things at play here but because of that I'm a little bit nervous today and I feel like I can't fully focus on anything. Um, it's so stressful. We have just been to Asda while Fletcher's at football and look what we've picked up. Two shoe buns. People have missed you in my vlogs. Have um, they? Yeah. I'm still here. He's still here, guys. I'm still eating. Still eating. <laughs> the thing is, I think I've said this before, but if I don't post Keegan for like two days running, people are like, you've broken up. He's dead. He's dead. What's happened? There's nothing to update you on. Mm. We're just living our lives off cam. No. And now we're living them on cam. Whilst eating. Still on my car. This is delicious. Mmm. It's like stuffed with some sort of custard. Mmm. That's why I opted for it. Huh? That was why I opted for it rather mm. than the Eclair. Yeah. I just yeah, because like Eclair's cream. I don't yeah. really like fresh cream. I like fake cream that's uh, sugary. Mm. Oh no. Oh god. No. Oh god. What a mess, let me get it for you. That was pseudo sexual. Emphasis on the pseudo. Right. Who does that? What? Feed somebody. Yeah. Delicious creme pat. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to feed me delicious creme pat. If I ever become a drag queen, that will be my name. Mmm. Creme pat. Mm hmm. I hope there's a drag queen called Cream Pot. If there isn't, there will be now. There should be. Well, this was a disaster. Look, there's bits in here. You're the kind of person who would go to the bottom of the bag of a McDonald's and eat the fries, aren't you? Yeah. Waste not, want not. So am I. <laughs> that is yum. Have we ever had a McDonald's together? No. Yeah, we have when we were drunk. Oh, yeah. We've had it. We've had a Burger King together. So, no, we haven't. We tried to go. No, we tried to go to KFC and we had a crushums, but it was not good. Oh. They were gross. Um, Can I have wet, a wet wipe, please? Oh, yeah. It was really nice to come home today and to our home cooked, cooked meal. Yeah. It was just nice. You say that like you don't, that we don't normally have home cooked meals? No, I mean, I guys, I've only lived up here like just over 10 days. So that, I'm still- is, is that all? Shut up. I, uh, so I'm still used to like being self-sufficient and arriving home and then having to cook my entire dinner. Entire and so dinner. it was really nice. Like he was gonna have a seven course, man. I can't say anything right with this guy, guys. Um, how has it been living with me over the last few days? Be serious. Don't make a joke. Good. 
<laughs> Good. I can't make a joke. You can make a joke, Mom. Um. Oh, you spoil it now. <sighs> yeah, guys, it's going well. No, it is actually, it's going really quick, isn't it? I can't believe it's already been... 10 years. It's been 10 years. 10 years. God, I look at that. I've, I've, I've you still look very young. Drastically aged in, ten, in the 10 days that you've been here. I've made your life easier, not harder. Be honest. See, this is a, this is a fallacy of moving in with someone, is that all the workload is halved because someone will do half the washing, half the cooking, half the cleaning, half. Yeah. That's not the case. Because the workload's more. Because the workload doubles. Yeah. Because there's twice as much washing to do, twice as much cooking, twice as much cleaning. There is. That's true. False economies. Would you rather I moved out? Is that an option? <laughs> no, I don't want to move out. You know, it would just be really nice to have a loving, kind boyfriend. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've just come to Starbucks to do some reading. Um, I'm reading How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Keegan, what are you reading? A geeky book, The Wheel of Time, The Eye of the World. She's in need to tell me. Oh, she is. I'm not thirsty, but I have just nicked some of his skinny hot chocolate. It does taste skinny after that shoe bun. It tastes less, less sweet. Anyway, enough talking. Stop distracting me. It's time to read. It's the next day, it's Thursday, and I've just taken the dogs for a walk, and look at them, they are so cute. They just love sharing a bed. There's a massive bed over here, they don't share that one, they share this really small one. Do you two love each other? So, so cute. Anyway, today is another day sort of adjusting to life by myself. Which, I should say as well, I think I've told my members this on a video. I've had to get used to sort of grieving the loss of Lucy, if we're being dramatic. Um, living with Lucy, living with a friend to living with a partner. That's definitely a process uh, that I'm going through. But I'm also grieving the loss of living alone in that I didn't spend all my time with Lucy. I didn't share a bed with Lucy. I didn't eat dinner with Lucy. Me and Lucy cooked separately, ate separately. Occasionally we'd hang out and we'd see a lot of, of each other here and there, but it wasn't like living with a partner just feels different. So I spent a lot of time when I lived with Lucy on my own. If Lucy was upstairs in the office or if Lucy was in the actual office, um, she'd be out lots of evenings socializing and things. So I'm having to get used to not having as much time by myself anymore. So days like today are quite nice, where Keegan is out all day basically. He's got something rugby-esque today, like a media day where they're interviewing him. And then he's got rugby training this evening. So I am just making myself some porridge for the day. I'm watching one of Anastasia Kings North's vlogs. I'm making myself a coffee and then at 10.30, so in the next 30 minutes, I need to walk Fen to the dog groomer. The dog groomer only had room for Fen, not Ava, because obviously with Fen, all they're doing is clipping his nails and giving him a bath, whereas with Ava, they need to like strip her, hand strip her or whatever it's called. So Ava's still yet to be booked in for a groom. She really needs it. She's looking very scraggly. But yeah, it's just fun today. So I know some people are interested in what I eat. So with this porridge, I just make it with water, a scoop of protein, so this is caramel biscuit flavor, and a scoop of marine collagen, which is really good for your skin, hair, joints, nails, things like that. Anyway, my parents are coming up to visit tomorrow. This is the first time they'll have visited me up north, uh, first time they'll have been to the house. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. They should be arriving late afternoon. My porridge is done. Uh, late afternoon. Uh, tomorrow. Keegan has, again, rugby training in the evenings. Guys, this is what it's like dating a rugby player. It's just lots of training, lots of, you know, lots of things in his schedule. So he's not going to be able to come for dinner with us tomorrow. So me, mum and dad are going out for dinner tomorrow and then we'll come back here and then maybe have some drinks or something and watch a film. And then Saturday, we actually need to plan Saturday, but all four of us are going to go somewhere else in Yorkshire, as in like not around the local vicinity. I think we're going to drive to like a very pretty village or something like that and then Sunday they go home so it'll be a really quick day Sunday I want to show them where I live and take them out for coffee and cake and then they're going off to stay in an Airbnb somewhere uh, to maximize their time in Yorkshire and then I'm gonna go and watch Keegan play a rugby game 
on Sunday afternoon. So yeah, it's very busy. Today I have quite a few things to tick off my to-do list. So, and they're really boring stuff, so I'm probably not gonna film it. It's just lots of admin and lots of stuff. Currently, as I'm filming this, there is no update on the house. I emailed yesterday to ask about, has the vendor replied and decided whose offer to go for? And he was like, no, I'm gonna chase him today. And that was yesterday. So I could hear today. I don't know why they're taking so long, but I, yeah, hopefully they'll get back to me this week, because I want to know now. I'm like, enough. <laughs> right, we've just done the school run. Well, Keegan did. Um, I just came along for the ride, and now I am tasked with making dinner for me, Keegan for later, um, and for the kids. Basically, me and the kids are going to eat together, and then Keegan's uh, going to rugby training early so he can get a gym session in. So, yeah, I've been tasked with cooking dinner. It's a fun one. It's chicken Kievs. So I'm, I've just got my little station here, coating them in flour, eggs and then breadcrumbs and then they're gonna go in the air fryer got chips for Fletcher because you know me and Taylor will have the green beans and then I might also whack in a garlic bread just for fun and just to make the kids like me <laughs> I'm joking it's all under control I think dinner was a success I think I mean it was quite nice it wasn't the nicest gusto one I've had but you can't go wrong with chicken Kiev chicken plus garlic is heaven in it Anyway, I am watching The Traitors US now whilst uploading some footage. Um, whilst uploading some footage for John Leah, our second episode of our new vodcast. Um, so I just need to download that, upload it, title it, put a description in it, design a thumbnail. So that will probably take me about an hour. So I will just sit here whilst watching The Traitors on my laptop. I did it on purpose, yeah. Good morning guys, it's bright and early. We've been up since 6.30, something like that. Keegan's been up making the kids breakfast and I've been stripping the bed and such a house cleaning. But uh, what did you just say to me? I said living with Joel Wood is an interactive experience. If you ever need to know where he is, you just follow the sounds and smells of that. Yeah, I have, uh, I've, sorry guys, but this TMI, but I have done a lot of those this morning. I don't know what's wrong with my tummy, but something's not right. What do you mean this morning? Every morning. Every waking hour. Every hour of every day. It's relentless. I thought I was bad. You have been bad recently though. Sorry guys. You don't need the farting content anyway. That is why like, would why would anybody be here otherwise? That's true. One of my friends, Haley, she used to make comedy sketches <laughs> about uh, uh, like poo and farts, like comedy sketches, but all she would get is weird men watching who were like, oh, and do you have a fart in gold leggings? Or things like that. And she was like, ew, do stop have, watching. Do you have a fart in gold leggings? Occasionally, yeah, yeah. I do own a pair. How strange. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, get back in. Your grandparents are visiting today. Oh, no, she wants to go in there. The kids have dropped off at school. We are now just stopping at Tim Hortons to grab a coffee before heading to the gym. It's all of these American Canadian chains that are just coming over like Dunkin' Donuts, now Tim Hortons. Come on, dear. Thank you, dear. Tim Hortons do good coffee, you know. Yeah, they do. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not really interested in their food, but... I think their donuts are probably better than Duncan, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, the gym is done. We are just on our way to Keegan's friend's house. We're gonna, Keegan needs his life insurance signing, witnessing. I also need my will signing and witnessing, so hopefully I'm gonna get them to do that for me. And they're getting their knives sharpened, Keegan's friends. Um, I should say that they're becoming my friends now too, but I, I feel weird saying our friends just yet, because they are Keegan's friends. But I suppose at some stage that will change into our friends. But anyway, they're getting their knives sharpened, apparently. So he said to Keegan, bring your knives and you can get them sharpened here. Someone's going to their house to sharpen knives. I was like, what an amazing service. Anyway, I got inspired and I booked Keegan and I a mobile car valeting service. So next Thursday, we've got a mobile car cleaning company coming to our house to clean Keegan's car inside and out and my car inside and out, which will be so lovely. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, update on the house. So I've been chasing and chasing this estate agent and finally today he has sort of been like, look, if you've got other viewings to go to, my advice is go to them for other houses because he was like, this is a probate house, which means someone died in the house, which means it has to go through a really long process. Um, apparently it's gone through probate now. So it is done with probate which is good but he was like because of that there's more than one person to decide the future of this house so when considering offers it's not just one person and so 
I think the undertones of this are that it's a family. There's quite a few children involved selling their mum's house and they're all disagreeing on what to do, what price to accept and things like that. So he was like, I think they're just going to take a while. I mean, it's been on the market since last year like, and it's sold twice, as I told you, and fell through both times. So my mum is like, I think you need to get out of it. I think they're going to mess you around. <laughs> but I'm really keen on it. So I'm going to leave my offer there for now and I'm going to start booking in some more viewings of other properties. Who knows? I might find something better. But at the moment, I, I really do want this house. It's just frustrating that it's taking a long time. So we will see. That's an update on that. I got my blood test back today. I did a blood test that I'd ordered about overall health, like test your cholesterol levels, your iron levels, things like that, and they come back completely normal. Not one single thing on the list is abnormal, which is really, really good. Um, last time I did one, my folate levels were through the roof, so they told me to like stop dosing up on that, so I have, and now they're all normal. Hello. Hi. The cleaners were in the house, and apparently, so Fen, when he got groomed yesterday, his they cut his nail too short, so it's been bleeding. And uh, what did she say? She said, She said, Has there been an accident in the lounge? And I said, Why? So she went and showed me some blood, so he'd obviously not caught it again, and there were like little marks of blood. And she said, Has there been a murder? And I said, Well, you haven't seen Joel around this morning, have you? As I, and then I went into the kitchen to pick up my block of knives, which I am now getting taken to get sharpened. Um, and then she was like, are you disposing of the murder weapon? But there was a hint of, <laughs> are you actually that. disposing of the murder weapon? Have you, yeah, because they haven't seen me this morning because I waited in the car. So she probably was like, there's blood, you're taking knives. We haven't seen Joel, have you murdered him? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Let's not rule it out. <laughs> well guys, it's Saturday. Mum and Dad arrived last night and uh, we've arrived at Ingleton Falls. We've never been before. The dogs are here. Keegan's just over there. We're gonna go and um, go for a bit of coffee and cake before we get started. He loves Dad and Dad loves him. <laughs> before our walk, we've got a cookie pie, a butterscotch and apple pie and two scones. Very nice. Pie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's what you call me, cookie pie. Imagine. <laughs> oh my god. Was it good? It's stuffed with something as well. Chocolate, cookie dough. Mum and Dad had a journey of a nightmare yesterday. How long was it supposed to take you? Should have taken four hours and it took about six and a half. Ridiculous. Six and a half hours. But we went out for dinner last night. We had a very nice pub meal. Annoyingly today was if I'd got my offer accepted on the house, I was going to book another house viewing so mum and dad could come and look. But alas, still not heard. So... Very pretty. It feels like this should be somewhere in like Canada or something. It's very nice. Mum and Dad are a bit further behind. Keegan walks really fast, so he's up there. Mum and Dad are a bit slower, so they're behind, and I'm just in the middle. Ava really wants to go for a run. How's your walk going? Oh, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. It's a lovely place, isn't it? I'm full of kit around. Yeah, fueled by that cookie pie. Yeah, I am. Um... Bought for you by your cookie pie. What can I say? I'm a great tall guy. You are. And I know Ooh. where to take people. Yeah. Ooh, we're all tangled. We're all tangled. We're all of a doodah job. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really lovely. It exists. Uh -huh. They've put pennies in it. Pecker Falls. Pecker Falls. This is the first of five waterfalls. It will fall over sandstone. Yes, 30 metres approximately. Good memory. They have to be on the lead, especially in these bits, because obviously she could just drop off the edge, but she hates it. She's like pulling and pulling and pulling. She's been crying as well, because she wants to be up the front with Finn. Ava! Worked up quite a sweat up that hill. Mum's taken her coat off. Uh -huh. really? Yeah, I'm sweaty as well. I'm the same when I cycle. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it shows you getting a good workout in. Yeah. I've been walking around with one glove on. Oh, yeah. so, um, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. Why have you been doing that? And a poo bag. It's, a, it's, it's this year's accessory. <laughs> Last time I did that, I was with Lucy and the bag broke open as I was spinning it and it went everywhere. 
on us included. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want it down there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a swale dale top. What's that? It's a male sheep that's bred in the Yorkshire Dales. Oh, nice. I haven't top. seen any of those. It's a swale dale top. Yeah. I hear of those on the original. No. Yorkshire Shepherd. Yorkshire Shepherd. Mum's obsessed with Yorkshire. She always has been. So, I love despite me being her being sad that I've moved away, I think she's secretly also glad that she now gets to come to Yorkshire. That's why she's obsessed with me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> think to <laughs> my life here. It's lovely, Joe. I'm envious. <laughs> Are you? You like Yorkshire I a lot. Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great, wasn't it? You have a lovely time. Yeah. We bought some cheese. Do you want to do a cheese haul? Cheese haul. We stopped by this cheese shop on the way home and we got some cheese for tonight. We got to try loads, didn't we? We did. They're delicious. That says dogs. dogs. Oh, we never oh we're not going to remember. Basically, we tried loads of different cheeses. We, we bought about four different types, plus some charcuterie, Yorkshire chorizo. Who knew that Yorkshire did their own chorizo? We've got Old Winchester, Doddington's, Doddington's, Darling Blue. Okay. That's a smoky blue. That's a smoky blue. That was amazing. And Stonebeck. That is that. Isn't that the um, Wensleydale? That was delicious. Oh yeah, they were all so good. Fen, stop it. Stop it. Right, let's get this in the fridge for later. Right, it is the next morning and we are just about to start getting ready. We've been food prepping this morning. I mean, Keegan did most of the cooking of it, but I've just been getting it out of the oven and dishing it all up into portions. So we've got five lunches each for this week, Monday to Friday. And then obviously we have gusto for our evening meals. Um, we've also been doing some laundry, cleaned all the towels or the bedding or the sheets, they need to go upstairs. Had a nice morning coffee with mum and dad and now we're all getting ready. I think we're gonna go for a little dog walk and then me, mum and dad are gonna go into town. I'm gonna show them my local town and we're gonna go for coffee and cake, I think. And then I'm going to watch Keegan play rugby this afternoon. So yeah, busy day but very fun. It's been really nice having my parents visit. We had a really lovely day yesterday. And uh, yeah, if it just feels very strange. They're used to visiting me in London and my life up here is so different. But I think better in some ways. Just, you know, little things like having a really big washing machine. And I know that sounds really stupid, but our washing machine in our house in London is like half a drum. The width is like this, whereas the width is like double the width here. So it means you can fit more in. So you know what I mean? bigger washing machine, um, got a dryer as well instead of, so we do a mixture of like hanging some of the clothes up to dry there and some in the dryer. But yeah, it's little things like that that I'm just like, oh, this makes a big difference. And having the space as well, which I think I've told you is mad because our houses are worth a similar price. I think my house in London is even like worth a little bit more, yet it's tiny compared to this place. So it makes you think, why does anyone live in London? Why don't they just all move up north and then they can afford bigger properties? But um, yeah, anyway. Time to get ready. Mum's enjoying all the views. Do you recognise it from the vlogs? I do. <laughs> I do. It's beautiful. We've come for some brunch. Mum's, what have you gone for? A vegan breakfast. It's a vegan breakfast with butter beans and roasted chickpeas and roasted carrots, I think. Oh, nice. It's nice. Very good. Dad, what have you got? 
Oh, chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma. Mmm. sauce. Very nice. And I've gone for a tomato heritage crumpet with an egg and halloumi. Yum. Right, that is the end of my weekend with mum and dad. I can't believe how quickly it's gone. Like, I know ultimately they were only here for one full day, which was Saturday, because they arrived Friday evening and they've left now Sunday afternoon, it's 2.30. But it's just gone so, so quickly. And it's always a bit sad saying goodbye. Like whether or not, whether I lived in London or up north, like it's always the same. It feels a bit like, oh, it's over now. But there'll be other times. Obviously they'll come and visit me as often as they can and I'll, I'll go down and visit as well. I think I'm going to see them in three weeks time. So it's not too bad. It's maybe slightly longer than what it would be if I still lived in London, but yeah, not too bad. But anyway, now I am driving to, so mum and dad are staying overnight in a hotel in Warwick. So near where Leah lives actually, because they thought it might extend their little stay a bit longer. So they've got, you know, a few, maybe 24 hours extra of this little excursion. So they're heading there now. They're behind me somewhere. I can't see them though. Right, stop there. It's um this vlog. Guys, I have not gotten into the routine yet of vlogging in January. I know it looks like I have because I've been posting videos, but I was saying to Keegan in the car, I was like, I just feel so stressed with it because I've picked up the camera and I've filmed quite a bit over the last few days, but with no structure and I haven't written down, you know, the video title ideas and like, there's just been no structure, so I have no idea what's on my camera. This vlog is all over the place, so I'm sorry about that, and I'm sorry to interrupt the last clip. I was just on my way to watch Keegan play rugby for the very first time, but I thought I would save that for the next vlog, because this video is already quite long enough, so that will come in the next upload, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. I post videos every single week at the moment. Also, don't forget to go and check out my other channel, Those Two Brits, where we've started a new vodcast which is a video podcast um we absolutely love it it's going really well so thank you for watching if you'd like to become a channel member click join next to subscribe and you'll get all the other options and i'll see you soon bye